Have you ever heard of Java memory leaks that could be disastrous? Watch this video till the end to discover our proven methods of fixing memory leaks in Java. You're on the Jelvix channel, tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Well, a Java memory leak is a kind of error when the garbage collector leaves elements in the system that aren't used. This leak harms the capacity to use the resources of the system and its overall productivity. If you ignore this problem, the system can completely exhaust data storage space and end with an irreversible error. Java out of memory error. Memory leaks in Java can occur due to unforeseen errors in the code, which keeps references to unwanted objects in the cloud. The list of the main Java memory leak causes includes unlimited caching, overflow of files in one session, excess of replacement operating system pages, bugs in the system of users' data, inserting elements in a collection without deleting them, and non-reproducible ways of listening. Several suspicious points may indicate a leak, namely persistent and unforeseen system failures, unstable application functionality support, an error, java.lang.outofmemory error occurred during a long session, connection object removal by the system, and significant reduction in overall system performance. Have you ever noticed any of these suspicious points? Share your experience in the comments. Our team has defined some trusted methods that help to detect a leak. The first method is using memory profilers. These are tools that can detect leaks and analyze the correct distribution of the elements used in the system. Also, they estimate the time taken to process away. Among the most common tools for profiling Java memory are JProfiler, Java Visual VM, and YourKit. The second method is Heap Dump Engagement. This is a tool for creating instant and timely snapshots of the heap in the Java memory store. Such images are needed to control the number of objects used and their weight in memory. Also, the tool tracks the number of elements created by the system and what may affect the leak. The third method is activating the verbose garbage collection log. This tool can demonstrate changes to heap configuration in the repository and garbage collection. It optimizes the collector's performance by identifying suitable elements in the heap its alternative methods, and JVM parameters. By the way, we highly recommend you check out the article about the differences between Java versus .NET. The link is in the description. So, to address the memory leaks problem, it's necessary to consider the reason why it has arisen. For each type, there's a different scheme for fixing memory errors in Java. Namely, when using static variables, Minimize the use of static fields in the system. If there are internal classes with reference to external, you can convert an internal class to a static one. If the resources of the application are not closed, finally block should be activated on time to complete the use of resources. When using finalize methods, reduce to zero any work with finalists. When using intern strings, try to upgrade the Java app to the latest version. When using thread locals, don't forget about stable cleaning of thread local variables when they're not needed. And when creating new elements, it's always optimal to override the equals and hash code path. You can also apply other methods to combat memory leaks when there's no clear understanding of the reason for their occurrence. Namely, use code performance testing with benchmarking for its detailed analysis. Apply special reference objects in Java instead of direct references to elements in the application. Review code, as sometimes it can help to eliminate memory leaks. Enable profiling, as it allows to discover storage areas that can be usefully used to store application resources. And activate the verbose garbage collection. So, a memory leak in Java affects the system as a disease that strikes it and worsens its overall condition. The problem isn't easily remedied if it's detected long after the first signs of its existence have emerged. But if working with the app consistently involves the use of proven methods, profiling, tracking, Java memory management, and code verification, 
the appearance of such problems can be reduced to zero. And have you ever encountered memory leaks in Java? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.